Hey everyone, it's Eric here from i525XL. Just going to give you a quick little update on something I did on a whim. Um, I was looking at my pH levels over the last couple of weeks just to see what the swing is like during the day and during the night. And as you know, they go up and down respectively. Um, so I wanted to start investigating ways to keep that pH level constant um, and without you know, continually dosing stuff to the tank. So I did some reading on CO2 scrubbers. Um, now you can do two things, you can buy one or you can DIY. I kinda did a DIY with some extra stuff I had here at home. So I just wanted to show that to you, but more importantly, I'm gonna go over um, the graph on my apex, uh, measuring the pH levels, and you can see for yourself what happened. So underneath, <clears throat> I've got the NIOS 220 working. Uh, I just pulled the air off, uh, air intake out, connected a hose to it, ran it into the back of the tank, or through the back of the tank into my fish room slash furnace room. So um, I'll take you back there. Oh, you can see the Cheeto reactor going nice and bright. Anyway, I'll take you back to the room right now. You can see what I've done there. Okay, sorry for the noise, furnace is on, it's a little cool outside. Um, so I had a spare uh, dual media reactor here that I decided to put to use. So I have the tube coming from the intake from the skimmer up into the uh, media chamber. And I filled the media chamber with the CO2 scrubbing media. So the air is being pulled in from this nozzle here, comes down, up through the media, out through the hose, and into the NIOS skimmer. So now here's the interesting part which I wasn't expecting right away. Okay so this is my apex dashboard. Um, you can see my pH level here right now is 8.16. Um, current time is 7.30 in the morning Saturday January 16th. So if I open up the graph you're gonna see a big difference here. So before I ran the CO2 scrubber my daily peak was 8.21, um, that was at 10, uh, sorry, 8.30 at night, and then the low would come down to 8.08, .08, and that was 10.45 in the morning. So you can see it's very consistent across the days, so that's uh, January 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th. Now 15 is actually when, this is the actual day that I put in, sorry, the 14th is the day that I actually installed um, the scrubber with the media. So the effect is instantaneous. So at 11.45, I was sitting around 8.05. And again at uh, 10 o'clock, I had a 8.3. So as opposed to, um, 200 um, 8.17 so that's the difference in the daily high so let's take the day before because it was a little higher so 10 o'clock was 8.2 so I'm getting about a 0.1 difference in the pH a rise in pH which is fine I don't want huge swings but you'll notice um, it's also not dipping as low so I'm actually it's actually leveling out my pH throughout the evening and the day. So um, the high is 8.31 at 10 o'clock in the evening on the 14th. Uh, 12.30 in the af uh, sorry, 12.30, yeah. So 12.30 in the afternoon, my low is 8.21. That was Friday and then uh, high Friday night at 2200 again is 8.27. So it's actually leveling out my pH and I noticed the dip is a little lower here uh, this time around 8.16 at 7.15 in the morning as opposed to um, 8.1 so I did do I'm actually changing my dosing amount of uh, the essentials pro um, two part so I've actually lowering it so that might be the reason for a little lower but I think if I didn't adjust it last night uh, you would see the same thing here so it's actually keeping my levels higher at a more consistent um, level not creating such a swing going down below or down towards uh, the 8.0 mark which is what I want to I want to stay above 8.0 uh, in general so
so you can see just the grass wing right it's a very different picture right from when I installed that co2 scrubber which is good so I didn't realize that uh, that it would make that much of a difference right away and make it more consistent so we'll see how it goes I'm gonna track it I'm sure there's nothing to do other than keep an eye on the media but I'll keep taking a look at my pH levels to make sure there's no crazy crazy swings there other than that alkalinity is 8.2 calcium 406 magnesium 1450 that's pretty much what they all hang around you can see these look like big swings but they're not huge it started to level out here um, alk is always hard for me to keep consistent I was about a 0.2 difference um, bit of a dip there 07 that's quite a bit that midnight um, that's probably because I adjusting I'm in the middle of adjusting my dose like I just did it last night so calcium bumped up a bit not a bit I mean the graph looks huge right but the, <laughs> these are small points so um, and I'm only doing four measurements a day so this will look a little more uh, bumpy than not and then magnesium which is hanging around the same level anyway that's my update just thought I'd share my results with you um, from a I guess a technical standpoint without drawing uh, diagrams of CO2 molecules and H2O molecules um, you can see in the graph from the day that I installed that scrubber what, what a difference it makes so hope that helps some of you out if you're thinking about the same thing any questions or comments please leave them down below always happy to help and until we chat again happy reefing